So sometimes you might be in a teacher's Zoom um, meeting and that teacher may ask you to share your screen. Now, first of all, that's a setting that has to be turned on by the teacher uh, and you shouldn't do it unless they have asked you to do so. Uh, but the way that works is on my iPad, uh, if I tap to activate my menus at the top, you'll see an option at the top that says share content. And when I tap share content, one of the options I get is the ability to share my screen. So if I go ahead and say share screen, it's going to give me a menu that looks like this. Now it may have two or three apps listed here. It may list uh, a screen recording or maybe your photos app. But what you need to do in order to broadcast your screen is you have to tap on Zoom. And then once you've tapped on Zoom, you are actually going to tell it to then start that broadcast. And that will then broadcast your screen onto what is going on uh, on your teacher's screen. Now when this happens, you can go ahead and navigate around just like you would. Your teacher will be able to observe whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, they may be trying to give you help remotely or they maybe they're looking for you to give a presentation remotely. Uh, and this is a way uh, to be able to do that. Now you can also um, share other things besides just your screen. Uh, you can go ahead and share photos from your photo library. You can share files from your iCloud Drive, which is essentially your files app. And I can even tap down here on browse to be able to access uh, all the files on my iPad and in my iCloud Drive. I can go ahead and tap again on share content and I could share a website URL. So if I have a specific website that I want to share with a class, I can do that. Or if I even have a website that I have bookmarked, I can share that uh, as well. So it'll ask me to show my bookmarks in Safari and I'll choose a bookmark from my list and I'll be able to share that bookmark as well. And then finally under share content, I have the ability to share a whiteboard and that whiteboard is going to give me a blank whiteboard that I can write and draw on um, that we can go ahead and share uh, together with the other members of that group. So maybe I'm going to be demonstrating a math problem, showing them how to do something. And I have some little settings down here at the bottom where I can erase things. I can change pencil colors uh, and so on. So whenever I am done, if I simply tap on stop share, that will stop sharing and take me back to um, my regular uh, view, which is again, either speaker view or gallery view, depending on which one I'm at. So that's how you will share screens uh, on an iPad.